Today, we are going to talk about lines and create art that has lines in it. There are all kinds of lines. You can see lots of different types of lines here. Straight, wavy hills, zigzag, bumpy clouds, castle lines, curly loops, swirls, all kinds of different lines. Today, we're going to make some art with all different kinds of lines that you see here. Our learning goal is I can explore materials to create art with lines. All right, today we are going to start with a white piece of paper, a pencil, and something to draw and color with. Crayons and markers are great. We are going to use all of these different types of lines in our artwork. I'm going to start on the edge of my paper and I'm going to draw a straight line all the way touching the other edge of my paper. Again, starting on the edge, I'm going to draw a different kind of line. This time, I'm going to draw a zigzag. Zigzags are my favorite line. Instead of starting on the edge, you could start by touching another line and stopping when you get to another. Here is a curly line all the way to the edge of the paper. What you're doing is you're going from the edge to an edge or to a line to the edge. And that is going to make these shapes to color in. So you're going to use all different kinds of lines. I'm going to use a castle top line here. And you're going to connect all of your lines to either the edge of the paper or to another line. When you have filled your paper with all different kinds of lines, you are going to get out your crayons or markers and you're going to trace on top of your pencil. If you're using a crayon, you want to make sure to press hard to get bright color. You see that bright color there? That's what I should see on your paper. So pressing lightly is not going to work for this. We want to be able to see those lines. You could also use a marker to trace and go right on top of your pencil line and you can use any colors you want. You can use rainbow colors, you can use one or two colors, it is up to you. You are going to trace every pencil line you make. Once you have everything traced, you're ready to start filling in all of these different shapes that you made. You can use crayon or marker and you're going to color it in completely, leaving no white spaces. You can also use your marker and crayon to add more lines inside of these shapes. So you can use straight lines, wavy lines, curvy lines, any kind of lines. And I'm going to color in with my crayon over my marker lines. So I'm still not leaving it white. I'm still going to color it in all the way. If you don't have markers, you could do that with just crayon by pressing harder with your crayon to make brighter, darker lines and coloring in lightly to get the background. So you can see I'm going to add this broken line in the background here with the crayon, pressing harder with the crayon so it shows up really well. And I'm going to choose a different color to color in the rest. Make sure there's no white spaces. Fill it in all the way. Take your time and do your best coloring skills to leave no white left. 
And here is my finished artwork. It is colored completely. There are no white spaces left. All right, you should begin creating yours. I can't wait to see it.